In this video I want to share with you 7 completely free applications which can help you tremendously in web development. And the first topic in our list is obviously the editor, because you can't code without editor. And the most popular and completely free editor nowadays is VS Code. If you are using some other editor like maybe Atom, Sublime or whatever you prefer, this is not the right choice. Yes, it might be suitable for your needs, but actually you might want to look on VS Code, because first of all it is completely free, it is working on all operational systems and it has lots of plugins and support of modern things. For example, TypeScript support you are getting out of the box without installing any additional libraries. Also, this editor is really fast if you will compare it for example with Atom. This is the editor that I would recommend to anybody, but sometimes people are asking me, ok, but this is not really an IDE and I want a really powerful IDE for JavaScript and web development. And actually in this case I can't recommend for you a free solution, but WebStorm or any tool from Intelligence IDE family will suit your needs. As you can see here is the WebStorm, which is actually the most popular IDE that you can find for web development. And you have lots of cool features inside like autocomplete, auto import, scanning your projects and wise renaming of all your files that you need. So nowadays I don't see any point to look on other editors at all. You either need to use VS Code if you want something free and if you want a fully functional IDE, then just pick WebStorm. The next in our list is an API tool. And doesn't matter if you are a frontend or a backend, for web development you must work with API. And actually the most popular and completely free tool is Postman. And when I'm saying completely free, it means that I use it for general purposes. And yes, there are paid tiers inside Postman and in other programs that I will mention here, but even a free version is completely suitable for everyday needs. So first of all, Postman will work on every operational system. And as you can see here in the example, you can type some URL, you can make any request that you want, for example, get, post or put, you simply hit send, you can provide here some headers, pre-requests, body, different parameters, and you get here a result. But it is not all, you also have here a history of your requests, collections, and it is really comfortable to work with Postman. This is why this is a tool that I am using in all my courses and actually during working every single day. If you for some reason don't want to use Postman, there is another really popular solution to work with API, and it is called Insomnia. As you can see here, it is really similar, you can do exactly the same stuff like you are doing with Postman. You can do your requests to any host with different methods. So which tool you should choose from this tool? And actually this is just a personal preference. I prefer to use Postman because it is more popular. But all features that you will need exist in both of them. The next in our list is a tool to work with Git. And if you for some reason don't want to use Git from the console, and I can totally understand this, especially when you are a beginner, then I highly recommend you to look on the source tree. And actually from all applications to work with Git, I would say that this is the best one. As you can see here on the example, you can use commands like pull, push, you can create branches, merging, you see your list of previous commits and their descriptions, you can make search, create new commit and much, much more. This is fully functional graphical UI for Git and I can highly recommend you to work with it, because it is also working in all operational systems. And it is completely free. The next in our list is Terminal, and if you are a web developer, you would use Terminal to start your web server to work with database, or maybe just code inside. And here I have two possibilities for you. First of all, here we have an iTerm, which is a solution suitable for macOS. This is the most popular solution to use there. But if you are using Windows, I also have a solution for you, because actually default Terminal inside Windows is complete mess. This is why here I have Cmda, this is exactly what you need in Windows, because it will make your terminal super similar to Linux or macOS. If you are doing some project, you might need to create a design or at least a mockup of your page to see what you are doing. And actually for this I used Sketch application quite a long time. But nowadays I am using Figma. Why is that? Because first of all it has a free tier, secondly it is super similar to Sketch, but it is completely online tool. 
You can create different designs with it, more cups and whatever you want. You can collaborate with other people, share templates and do really different stuff there. And again, this is not a free tool. They have here paid subscription, but there is also a free tier here. And actually, if you don't have a huge project, then free tier is completely suitable for you. If we are talking about writing CSS, I didn't use Bootstrap, Material or maybe Semantic UI really long, long time. Because nowadays I use only Tailwind CSS. And if you don't know what is this, I highly recommend you to look at it. This is the idea that you are writing zero CSS and you just use and combine helpers from this library. As you can see here in the example, this is how your code will look like. You simply just write HTML like classes flex, padding, margin, width, height and much much more. And actually here I can say that I created my full website where I am selling my courses completely with Tailwind with zero CSS. So if you want to implement your CSS really fast, take a look on Tailwind CSS. And the last application in our list is a tool for end-to-end -end testing. If you don't know what is end-to-end -end testing, this is when we are testing what user did on our website. For example, user clicked on the button or user filled this register form. So we are not writing unit tests and we are not testing our code, but we are testing some behavior of the user. And as you can see here, the most popular solution is Cypress. You can easily start to test your web page. And as you can see here is your web page. You can see it inside Cypress. You can see your tests and every single thing that is happening there. And it is really easy to write tests with Cypress and debug it later. This is why I highly recommend if you want to test your applications, look on the Cypress tool. And also, if you want to know how to become a senior developer, I highly recommend you to check my 5 tips in this video.